What kind of fashion inspires you the most and why did you pick to illustrate Izzy Lane for Amelia's Compendium of Fashion Illustration? I think I'm, I'm very drawn to clean lines. I love texture. I think that's initially what attracted me to Izzy Lane is that it's their aesthetic is very cozy and paired with the Yorkshire uh, landscape in the background. It's just, it gives you a kind of experience just looking at the fashion. You really feel the uh, warmth of the English countryside. And I think I'm really drawn to, to things that are very heavy on texture. Yeah, really, it was just, it was an uh, instant aesthetic attraction at the beginning. And then I began to read about their mission statement. And that's what really sold me is that they're, that they're, goal is to save sheep that are imperfect <laughs> for one reason or another and create these beautiful garments. Do you think it's important that we bear in mind where our clothes come from and if so why? Yes, absolutely. Reading about Izzy Lane really kind of opened up this thought process. I thought, you know, for me, maybe we should think about it a lot more. Just because I just think it's that much more special when it's created in an ethical manner, when nothing really had to to suffer to, you know, for, for something that is really kind of rather superficial. What do you think it is about sort of particular colours and textures and patterns um, that attracts you and, and why, why do you love detail and patterns so much? Detail is one of those things that's very deliberate. When, you know, when you see someone has a little pocket square hairpin, these are things that people, you know that they took the time to consider this. So I think it really says a lot about the person that's wearing it or making it. It, it just makes things that much more special. And fashion illustration, I mean, is this a fairly new thing for you? And if so, um, why do you think it's such a good way to sort of showcase your particular techniques? It's fairly new. I had never really considered it before until my last year at, at um, my art institute. But I think it's, uh, it's a great way to explore uh, different cultures, different ideas. And it's a great way to, uh, um, to learn as I'm working on something to read and to look at images and then I sort of end up adding these things to my catalog of visual knowledge. Um, and how has being involved with Amelia's magazine, I mean for quite a long time now because you did some stuff for the print magazine, how has that sort of helped develop your sort of illustrations? Well seeing my work in print was really fun but I, I feel like yeah, also working for the online magazine helps. Working as a professional illustrator I haven't had that much experience and it's a, it's a great way to learn about deadlines and quick turnaround and responding to art direction without sort of the pressure of invoices and all, all of that yeah, stuff. So there's no pay <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's that's good thing actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's great practice. You've sort of lived in quite a lot of different places around the world and you sort of travelled recently as well in Scandinavia and how have they impacted your uh, style? Well, I spent my, most of my childhood in St. Petersburg and I do go there uh, I t take an annual trip there, and I never studied art there formally, but I, I have had a lifelong exposure to Russian art. It has influenced my work greatly, especially the illustration of the early 20th century, the uh, ballet costume design. Um, I lived in Prague for five months last spring, which somehow affected my color palette. I'm not really sure how, but it just the exposure to kind of uh, new colors. Uh, it just it permeated my my palette somehow and yeah all the new places that I travel to I really pay attention to the visual culture of those places and the way people um, incorporate their surroundings into the things that they create and how they do it and I, I draw little little details from here and there. What is the process um you know what sort of tools and materials do you use and what does your desk look like? Well I'm very neat and I work very small so I have my little box of watercolor cakes and my jar of water and uh, paper towel and my tiny little brushes and I'm usually just if I'm in the zone and working on I'm usually hunched over or something I'm usually about this big I have music or a movie playing I can't start working until I've cleaned the entire room <laughs> does it take you long to create your illustrations because they're so detailed yeah but I work I work fairly fast um, once I get into it it just becomes a very uh, especially if I'm doing pattern it's a very repetitive meditative process Usually it's an average of about five hours. What would you like to be doing in five years' time? I would like to be an independent freelance illustrator. I'm always looking for something new to be inspired by. And I love that there's an endless world of possibilities out there.